Our campus building, like many other institutions such as malls and offices, can be difficult to navigate for newcomers or visitors. Even with infodesks or maps, it can be nearly impossible to find your way. Even if there is a map, it isn't always intuitive to understand the map. They always show the classic, you are here, but almost never show in which direction one is facing. Thus, even with the map, you still don't know if you must go left or right. I am Angela Bowles, a fourth year computer and electronic engineering student, and therefore I set out to develop a cheap and easy to implement indoor navigation system specifically for the NVE that could later be transferred to other hard to navigate places. Thus, an intuitive offline mobile app was developed that could be used to navigate a user from a specific starting location to their desired destination, including stairways. In other words, no Wi-Fi or data is necessary. By solely making use of a user's mobile device, no additional infrastructure changes uh, are required and no extra cost is necessary to implement the solution. This also makes for easier transferability to new locations. The solution, so con the solution consists of two main parts, the digital map and the user's position. The map is made up of the digitally constructed building layout and by physically placing QR codes across the institution. A user can scan these and this will act as a you are here, setting the user's starting location on the digital map. Hereafter, the user can search for their desired destination using a search bar or by browsing the available destination. Once the starting point and destination is obtained, a path can be calculated between these two locations by dividing the digital map into grids and applying the A-star search algorithm. But as mentioned before, only having a map doesn't uh, solve the user's navigation problem, and thus the second part is to emulate a user's position and heading on the digital map. A PDR approach was used, where a user's mobile device acts as an IMU, thus making use of the inbuilt sensors in modern smartphones to compensate for GPS being obstructed in most indoor environments. The magnometer and gyroscope was used in a complementary filter to determine in which direction user's device is facing. The gyroscope is a very good relative measuring system which can drift over time and the compass that is an absolute measuring system is prone to magnetic interference. Thus, by combining the two sensors, we can get a reliable estimation of the user's heading. The accelerometer was used for step detection, moving a user's character in the direction in which the device is facing. The barometer was used to detect if a user is going up or down a level when multi-floor navigation is necessary. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this isn't an absolute system like GPS, but it is a very good uh, estimation of your position. When in doubt, all the user has to do is to rescan the nearest QR code to reset, to reset their location. During the development of this project, I learned a lot about sensors and how to use them, and how sensor fusion could solve problems that single sensors couldn't dream of solving. In future projects, I will spend more time on research and start small-scale tests and experiments sooner.